Welcome to the series of videos on the function of the Pack and Send Live Shipping Platform. Over the next few videos, I'll be demonstrating the basic functions of the platform, including processing your orders, completing your shipments, and other functions. In this first video, I'll just give you a quick tour of the platform itself. When you first log into your account, you'll be greeted by your dashboard. Here you can quickly see a summary of new orders ready for processing, what the current status of your shipments are, and also your account options. The difference between your orders and your shipments is that the orders are those that may have been created by your online shopping cart, yourself or by someone else in your organisation, and includes all of your order information such as customer details, products ordered, etc. The shipments is the main area where you would process the orders created for shipping. You can also create a single shipment outside of your product orders, example shipping stock between your warehouses if you have multiple, or maybe creating a return label for your customer. Firstly, your orders. The dashboard shows you your order summary, including any new orders that have come into the platform and others in their life cycle. You can immediately see if there are any invalid orders that need your attention. For example, the customer's address may not be correct, there may not be any valid shipping services to their location or any other reason why the order can't be processed. The order screen also shows a summary of the status of the shipments and where in the process that order is. My shipments. This is relevant to those who are shipping themselves from their own premises or dropping off at a pack and send location, where you are packing the items and labeling them yourself self-service model. This is where you will process your shipments including printing packing slips, printing shipping labels, booking carrier pickups and dispatching your items. The tabs are laid out in logical order for the from packing the item, ready for shipping, dispatching the items, marking them as shipped and once they are picked up by the relevant courier, to marking them as completed once the courier has delivered the item. You'll also be able to track the items from this page. Three PL shipments is relevant to those who have engaged a pack and send service center to handle the pick and pack process and storing of your stock. The three PL solution. If a pack and send service center is shipping your items for you, you'll be able to see the status of each shipment in real time as the pack and send team go through each step of the shipping process. You won't be able to edit the shipments as you would if you were handling the shipping yourselves but you will be able to view each shipment and also track them from this page. Contacts. This is a handy tool where you can add regular shippers to your contacts page. You will then be able to instantly create an order with their contact details instead of having to type them in every time. You will be able to either manually enter a new contact or save the contact details to your stress book, address book when you create a new order. Packages. Here is where you can set up some default package sizes. If you ship items in specific packages regularly, you can enter the dimensions here and create a name for it. Either something simple as main carton or name it depending on the product that gets shipped. Products. Here's where you can enter your products. For each product, you can also enter a shipping, shipping dimension. So when you create your next order, you can simply enter the product name in the system and auto fill the order with the details and the shipping size. When it comes to creating a shipment, the system will intuitively assign the create package size based on the package information you have also entered. If you have a shopping cart integration, the first time you import your orders, the system will also import all of your products. You can then edit them to manage their shipping sizes. sizes. Anytime you make an adjustment in your online store backend or add a new product, the system will update or import that product the next time you import orders. Stock levels. Here is where you can keep an eye on your inventory. As before, the first time you import orders from your shopping cart, the product information will also appear here. Or you can add manually enter stock levels once you enter a product, then you can refresh the screen for it to appear in the stock level screen. If you have multiple warehouses where you are shipping from, you'll be able to create a stock transfer shipments from this screen as well. Warehouses. Here's where you'd enter the information regarding your pickup address. If you're shipping from your own premises, that would be regarded as a warehouse. To ship from another location, you can simply add another warehouse to ship from. 
For those customers who are using Packinson's 3PL option, you would not need to add a warehouse here. Finally, the settings function. Here is where you can set your preferences with regards to shipping services and also add a marketplace integration. If you do not see the option to integrate your specific online store here, please contact your pack and send representative and we can see if it's impossible to add that integration for you. Thank you for watching this video on the introduction to the pack and send live user interface. Please view further videos on creating and processing shipments to understand in more detail how the system works. Please contact your pack and send representative if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.